started to break up. And that's because the meat has got quite a lot of water in it. This is our four week hung. Because it's been hung, there's not that much moisture in the meat. It stayed much more as its shape. And the economy burger, it's holding together. It's already started to shrink as well. OK, yeah. fantastic. 24 hours ago, the volunteers came face to face with Red Ruby cattle. I can't breathe, this is ribs. They made difficult decisions. We're going to choose the first one and the second one. How long have they got left now? It'll be about an hour. They watched the bullocks being slaughtered. This animal is not thinking. Shit! They pushed themselves to the limit. Can I give it back to them? This is the actual animal that I can't about years ago. All to start their exploration into how meat is produced in the UK today. But has this first experience with beef cattle changed any opinions? Well, guys, it seems like only yesterday that we were sitting here. In fact, it is only yesterday that we were sitting here. Uh, Luke, you have already had quite a substantial experience. You've tried being vegan for a while, and the killing and being in the abattoir really affected you, didn't it? I think it was the brutality of it all and the speed with which it's done it. It was still very brutal and quite hard to watch and sort of got a little queasy seeing that, and I had to walk out. Mossen, you came here a city girl. You've definitely enjoyed yourself. Do you think about meat as more than just fast food now? Oh, well, definitely. When it died, it was, it, was, it, it, it was a bit of a shock because, obviously, it's, it's a big weighted animal. I didn't realise what the insides looked like. It's funny that I don't, yeah, because, obviously, my piece is always chopped up and everything, but when it got its head cut off was the shocking part for me because I'm thinking, oh, there's going to be all, like, brains and stuff and everything because I've never seen it happen or what it looks like. It was interesting to see that's, that's what was walking a minute ago, especially with the twitching, the twitching. You, you still saw it with its head cut off twitching. So it kind of looked like a live. That was a bit like, wow. Christella, you, you found the killing very difficult. Yeah. Um, how do you think you're going to be for the rest of the week? There's more to come. The killing of an animal, was, it, it, uh, it tormented me yesterday, seeing the animal being killed. I'm hoping that would have been the worst of it. And uh, we'll just see as it goes. Kerry, did you enjoy getting up close and personal with the red rubies? It's quite easy for me to separate the living animal from the meat because that process in the middle, the killing process, was so quick that it was like once it was over I could just look at it as being a food product and that for me is completely different to the living animal in a field. James, you seem very cool and almost attached at times. It's very odd for me, you know, to get my head round to, to see that meat there and I'm thinking to myself that's what I would look like if you were to chop me up and do the same thing so I, I kind of feel it's it's in a way we're eating our own kind in a way so it, it's as if I was to ask you to um, come close to a, a dead human body you might feel a little bit strange about it and therefore you've got to kind of just kind of cool yourself inside and just go right I'm gonna go through this and just just get through it well everyone it's dinner time all right, everyone, it's the moment of truth. Here they are, your burgers, red rubies number two and three. In front of you is the meat that you killed yesterday. Got to ask you guys, James, Christella, are you going to be tasting this? It was nice to go through the procedures, like seeing every step, but for me, not just yet. James? Just, no, definitely not. not uh, when I look at this, you know, I see things causing climate change, so... You know, it's just a definite no for me. I'm pretty keen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, oh, come on then, guys. Let's uh, begin. Not bad. So much far and away better than a cheap rubbish burger. Luke? It's brilliant. You can't taste the difference between this and the low-quality stuff. Phoebe? Yeah, the flavour is amazing. OK, this is Peter's pride and joy. This meat has been hung for a month. It's definitely a lot better. They, they can tell that that being matured has helped it um, oh, develop see. stronger flavour mm. and a better flavour. I'm interested to know what you think, Mosson. For some reason, I prefer the first one. Do you? Mm. Phoebe? I quite happily eat the first one. That, it's, it's really nice, but it, this has the edge, definitely. 
Like, like fine wine, maybe, matured with age. <laughs> <laughs> OK, well, what we're going to do is go straight to these economy burgers. So if I can uh, just offer you one of those, please, go. If you take that. If you taste that. Luke. So what we've got here is a burger that would cost around 40p, as opposed to the other burgers, which are over a pound. Have a taste of this. You can't really even taste beef, to be honest. No, it just, it's really soft and squishy. It just tastes greasy. And rubbery. Mawson? I mean, the first burger was definitely chewy, um, full of more flavour. Um, it actually felt like meat. Mm -hmm. And then you just realise that, <laughs> this, it, to, like, comparing this burger to that, the, to the meat burger, oh, it's not, it's not meat. I'd rather not eat than eat that. <laughs> I'm perfectly honest. Well, that's it, everyone. Well done. You've done really, really well. Tomorrow, you're going to be tackling lamb. And I can warn you now, it's going to be a more hands-on experience. Well, it's been an emotional couple of days for our volunteers. They've turned live cattle into burgers, and tomorrow, it will be tougher. They're leading lambs to the slaughter. And this time, they won't just be watching. Next time on Kill It, Cook It, Eat It, Christella meets her match. Turn his head around. The group decide the fate of more animals. You talk to them. Tempers become frayed. The most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. And the group face another slaughter. Naughty. I'm not allowed to misbehave. Naughty. But she didn't say anything about you, did she? Naughty. Oh, you and just as naughty. Bonjour, la classe. I don't like you looking at other girls. It's not a girl. That's a woman. From the makers of Two Pints. Hello. Ah, a witch. I want you to give my virginity back. The outrageous coming of age. If you're going to fight, could you at least strip off and cover yourself with treacle first? Tuesday at 10.30 on BBC Three. <laughs>